So if I am running this app, just to show you uh, one of the ones that was on here that was PhoneGap, um, there's our starter kit, right? So we ran this. It's going to feel like a browser uh, because if the user, uh, once this comes up here, if the user double taps the screen, it's going to do this little bounce in and out because it's thinking you're on a web page. Also, you know, you have the ability, in some cases, you can highlight the text and, and copy it, and, and there it is. it's going right now. So it doesn't understand that it's an app. It still thinks okay. that it's more rendering as a web page. So it's a good way to get started and get a feel, and, and primarily this uh, HTML5 is targeted at, at, at people who already have phone gap applications on other platforms and want to bring them to Windows Phone very quickly. But, you know, as I showed, you would then begin to add Windows Phone specific features, the Bing search or an app bar or other things in the marketplace like a trial version of your app. You'd add those features little by little and eventually you know, you would probably consider migrating over to an actual full native app instead of HTML5. So all the limitations there are basically because it's a, a mini browser running as an app. Okay. All right, we're going to actually pause for 10 seconds while they change tape and then we'll answer one or two more questions and then we want to kind of go through quick resources for Silverlight uh, phone development, and then I'll let you go. The question is, uh, how do you do, uh, how difficult is it to do uh, native, I'm sorry, um, image processing uh, in PhoneGap? Um, so the answer to that would be, it depends how difficult it would be to do in JavaScript. Uh, there's no libraries internal to PhoneGap to do image processing. Uh, so you would either have to find some way to do it in JavaScript or um, find some way to do it in C Sharp inside of the Silverlight app and communicate back with the Hosted phone gap app, or the third way would be, you know, to send the image off to some service in the cloud and then have it come back processed. So there's a couple of ways you could do it there. Okay. Any other questions for Glenn before I go do my 10-minute spiel? Okay, Glenn. Thank you very much for your time. Um, really, really appreciate your. All right. Talk to you soon. I'm gonna stop recording bye. and then uh, bye. Okay, let me save it. Glenn Gordon, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'll let that process. Okay, so a um, couple other things. One, one more time, this bit.ly slash CS164 phone is going to bring you here, and I'm going to actually go through a demo of building a Silverlight app instead of, um, instead of a, uh, a, a game, as Glenn mentioned. So um, if you go bit.ly slash CS164, whoops bit.ly slash cs164 phone. What's cool here too is some of these um, links we're going to give you sample code which I'm going to go through but you know if you want to create a phone app, if you want, I'm sorry a map, uh, if you want to create something with your um, with your um, accelerometer, uh, I'll, I'll show you a couple of these examples but it's pretty cool. Um, this jump start series over here shows videos so it's actually videos of um, different uh, examples and they provide the code. The code is this link, which gives you all the, the code and the presentation zipped. So if you really want to get quick started, this is a great way to do it. Um, so one thing I'm going to do right now is I'll highlight a couple of things um, you know, with phone development. So first maybe I'll do a quick uh, hello world just so you get familiar with um, adding elements and, and creating a hello world app on the phone. So when you, um, when you install, going through uh, WP7SDKTools, bit.ly, it'll bring you to uh, the SDK tools and you can just install Visual Studio 2010. It includes all the phone development tools. So I'll walk you through sort of creating that, um, that first phone app, right? Over here, again, if you're not familiar with the IDE, you have new project on the top left. And after you install the SDK, what you're going to see is Visual, uh, Visual C Sharp, Silverlight for Windows Phone. It has all these different templates. So if I scroll down, you'll see one has to do with Panorama. Um, as you saw Dean go through some Panorama apps. Uh, there's Pivot. But let's start from the beginning, straight up uh, Windows Phone application. I'm going to double click on it. Choose Windows Phone OS 7.1. And what you'll see is the uh, emulator load, uh, as well as in the middle, you'll see this thing called XAML. Um, on the, in the middle and then on the right you'll see this sort of user uh, interface type of um, uh, being able to mess around with the properties etc. So my, I don't have great real estate over here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. 
So my emulator is on the left. Um, I have my XAML code in the middle, and I have sort of this, this UI way of, um, of modifying some of the code, some of the XAML as well. Um, first thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and I'm going to put my mouse over toolbox, and you'll see that um, I have all these different elements available to me. Uh, so actually I'm going to move this over just so I can drag it into the phone. So toolbox, let me go ahead and, uh, you know, drag and drop a text block. So over here, here's my text block. I can drag it. You'll see these little orange markers over here. So it's sort of like a snap to ability and a really cool interface where you can see the, how large the pixel size is. Uh, I'm going to name this um, object over here, text block, my text block. Okay. And you'll see um, over here now the text also says text block. I'm going to say this. I'm going to keep it blank. I'm going to delete what's over here. So it's blank and you'll see text block go away. Also if I click on the object on the XAML part, I'm going to drag it over here. You'll see text block height equals 52. Um, you know, text is blank. Uh, horizontal alignment left with one, you know, 183. I'll change this to say, you know, 100. Right? And it, you know, there's multiple ways. The point is there's multiple ways to uh, modify your, um, your objects, either through XAML over here or um, on the properties over here. You can even do, um, let's see, height. You can even do a search right, on which property that you want to modify. Height, right there. I'm going to go back to Toolbox. Let me drag, drag this out. Toolbox, I'm going to create a button. Right? All I have to do is drag a button into the... Uh, it's kind of, oh, I got to move this over. Sorry, again, because I'm projecting. Let's do that again. Button over here. Okay. So uh, I'm going to name this my button. Enter. Right. And the content, if I click on it, I see that, um, I'm going to remove this. I see the content property over here is button. So I'm going to say click me. Right. And it, says click me over here. Now if I can actually you, drag this and move this around. You see how it snaps, right? So you can actually have pretty good alignment right there. Click me. So anyone know how to uh, create an event or event handler for a button? Like if I click on this button, it will do some piece of code. Anyone guess? What do I do? Double click the button, right? I can double click the button and it brings me to my C sharp code, right? It creates an event handler, my button uh, underscore click. Um, it already, you know, uh, creates it automatically. So if I do uh, C sharp, my text block, and if you don't know Visual um, Studio, there's something called IntelliSense where it really takes a lot of the guessing out of the code when you're developing. So my text block dot text, right? It gives you all these different suggestions, right? If you do on apply template text, you click on it, it actually gives you more information. So text equals hello CS164. Bam, right? Um, now I'm going to hit this play button it's in, uh, to start debugging. And what it'll do is it'll bring up my emulator. It'll um, um, go through the code. And the first time you run the emulator, it takes about 10 seconds, right? So um, really, really simple way to develop an app uh, for the phone. So while this is running, let's see. I have so many cool things, especially if you guys, I, I wanted to show uh, creating an app um, with one line of code. And something that uh, when I did this at UPenn to do a demo, um, someone was an Android uh, intern and he said it would take him about five to six hours to do what I just did with one line of code. So um, the developer story we, we have is actually pretty good. Um, and I want to kind of get that, oh, of course, hold on. You know what, it's probably because I dragged that other button uh, in there. I thought we would go by really easily without an error. Okay, it was that second button. I forgot I, I could have just fixed it right there. My bad. I just want to do this right from the beginning. Okay, let's go to new project. And I'll kind of skip a lot of the, uh, the steps that I did. Show you right from the start. All right, real quick. I mean, that's like the simplest uh, demo. I shouldn't have uh, not even done anything. Let's see. All right, here we go. Text block, insert. All right, name this my text block. My text block. Let me see if I can do this speedily. Okay. Toolbox, button. 
let's not care what uh, what the contents are and I call this my button okay done double click on my button insert uh, my text block dot text equals hello CS164 part 2 okay play debug Okay, deploying application, if you see this on the bottom left, and bless you. Here you go, bam. Hello, 60, uh, CS164, part two. Um, let me show you something real quick. I only have four minutes. You guys want to see so, a little more of this thing or the designer app where you have something cool in, in, in one line of code? <laughs> sure, that was kind of dumb. All right, cool. So um, this is part of the sample code that is in the uh, CS164 phone link. It actually has this sample code for what I'm going to show. Um, so for example, I'm gonna get, I'll do this real quick. It's under blend. Uh, when you download it, you'll see it. Um, it's under animations, begin, flip card. 